Alfred is an app that can change the way you work with your Mac and increase your efficiency levels to the next level. Welcome to the channel. We talk about ideas, different mental models, and tools that help increase our efficiency and give back the time in our lives to learn more, to do more, and to be more. So to use Alfred is pretty easy. You go to Alfred's website, search up Alfred for Mac, and it'll pop, it'll be the first search result. So let's see, let's do that. You go to alfredapp.com and installing Alfred. They actually just came out with Alfred 5, which is the latest one, pretty, pretty recent that's come out. There's a paid version and there's a free version. We're gonna check out the free one and then talk about the paid one as well. So you can search and browse, find more things, automate things using workflows, control music or Apple Music. There is a Spotify workflow. That's another video that it could be. That's something of interest. Opening folders, files, checking the weather, searching things. So there are seven things that I wanna to talk to you about today. And the first one is changing the default setting by turning off spotlight. I've never been a fan of a spotlight, so turning it off is like for sure the first thing I want to do. So let's do that. Go to settings, keyboard, you go to keyboard shortcuts, and here you go to spotlight. So this was initially toggled on by default where it's command space to turn on spotlight. I have it turned off, so you turn it off, press done. Now once you're done with that, you're going to go Close this out, go to Alfred Preferences, right? General and the hotkey is what you want to focus on. The hotkey is what you're going to be setting up. So that way you can set up command space like I have here, for example. And it could be whatever you might want to choose. It's not just based on what I'm saying. Whatever is most preferable, I've found it that command space is right there and it's super easy to hit. So might be pretty good use. Just try it out for yourself. So that was the first thing we covered. The next thing to talk about is the default results. You go to features. This version you're seeing is because I have the Alfred power pack, but it's okay. We can still see the other free stuff to do. So default results, I've set it to just have preferences, use contacts. Never found them actually use contacts on the Mac at all, like rarely. And Alfred says to use essentials is the best because it keeps the speed and how things pop up and how fast it is. You can use it with adding folders, images, but I'd rather just exclude them to keep it as fast as possible and just keep it simple. Now, moving on to the next one where we talk about file search. You know, some computer gets new files, do work, you have new documents, new apps, new photos. And then later on you try to find something and you just can't and it takes like two hours and that's a waste of time. So to save that time, what we're going to do is actually use Alfred, you know, have quick search mode enabled. These are the settings that I use. I've actually enabled don't show emails, bookmarks, history, contacts, calendar, messages. We well, can't have them on, but I want to optimize it to be as efficient as possible. So it's kind of your own need case of what you do want to use versus what you don't want to use. So don't don't stress too much on, oh, I don't have this turned on and, or somebody else has it on. Use it for your own use case. So again, I've excluded those just so I don't have to worry about it. To open files, so keyword open, find, inside files. All right, that's pretty cool. You can search in a file, the contents of a file. And it's like enable quick search mode. So to do that is the quick search is command space and then you hit the space bar again. And that way it says open file. Search for miles on your Mac. That way you can find where it is. So remember, command space, hit space bar again. Let's say you want the downloads folder. You just type in downloads and now you can see that's the first path for the downloads folder that's showing up. Now another cool thing is what if you don't want to open the file, but you just want to see what folder it's stored in, right? And you don't want to be like, oh, I have to open this and then do more work to find where it is. You can actually hold down the command button and it says reveal in finder. It will show you reveal in finder and that way when you hit enter, it shows you where that downloads folder is. So it's pretty useful for finding things. Web searches is something that it can pretty do and you have all these custom ones that come up where you just type in something, whereas 
best production microphones. And you can see search from Amazon, search in Wikipedia, search on Google. These are default set up. Something that's pretty cool that you can do is I set up a GIF, a GIF search. GIF, for example, I set up a GIF, for example, a GIF notion, and it pops up some. There's not that many, but you know, it's an example. Let's see how you can set this up actually. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see how you can set this up. First, we go back to our Alfred preferences. Preferences. So this is the custom workflow that I have it set up and I'll show you how it works so you can build your own. What I've done is I went to giphy.com and let me show you back, giphy.com. I just went to giphy.com and I took the URL. Let's say I'm searching for first search. I took the URL, I copied the URL, I went back and what's important is you need to know what it's encoded by. What that means is what is the separation and you can see Copy that and you go back to this. This is where you'll paste the query. This it says query now because it used to be. This is what the link would be. But because I know I search up books fire. I don't know. Don't think I'm not trying to set books on fire. So you copy the link. You go back to your Alfred. And here, let's say edit them since I already had it set up, right? And the link would be this book stash fire. You can see the encoding space is actually, this is empty when you first come in. It would be a dash. That way you know the separator is by a dash. And here, this is gonna be your template. So you don't wanna set it up as that one unique term or it's only gonna keep searching that. You're searching by typing query. That way, once you save it, title it Giphy, keyword GIF, and you can test it where it shows Alfred app was searched and it works. You go back and you save. This way now you have a custom search setup that you can actually use. Something else that's pretty cool is you can change the themes. So you go to appearance. I actually got some large avenir, frosty teal. There are some classic ones that come that you can choose from. I kind of like the Mac OS dark or the modern dark. Sometimes just like the high contrast if you're crazy. I like the frosty teal sometimes, but I'm going to stick with the modern dog that that's what I've been using. So that's something you do. And you can download more themes from it's for searching Alfred themes. You do that theme list. This website called pacal.com. There's a bunch of them. No, this one actually looks pretty nice. I'm going to make this one. So you just go and you just click import theme and just download. And you just once you press import. And here it is. Now I've actually changed it. So when I do my Alfred, you can see the bar is actually a violet purplish color. One final note, there's the paid version, which is the power pack. Since I've already got a power pack and it's not, it's a one-time payment that you can have forever updates. It gives you access to this remote feature. You can control your Mac using your Alfred through your phone app. You can use workflows that you can build custom workflows. They've actually just revamped this. So it's actually much better now and you can build new ones and understand them better. There's a lot that I use, but the most common one that I love is FD folders to just search through the folders that I have. So it's find directory folders. That's something to do. And you can check those out in the links below. I leave links to the websites that have different workflows built by the Alfred community. These are just open source workflows. So do your own diligence, but most of them are pretty safe. I have like a bunch installed. And they can have auto update settings too at times. So it'll tell you when you need to update them without taking much effort. It's just one click. And maybe even build your own workflow. So that'd be pretty nice. And the great one that I really liked is doing uh, shortcuts to the workflow. So I use that to open my calendar when I used to do the things every day to get done. And with that, thanks so much for watching so far. And if you liked what you saw, remember to subscribe for future videos and leave any comments of possible ideas to make and what you liked about which should be improved on. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Peace.